Now, after everything that has happened between Jose Mourinho and Paul Pogba, I think one thing has become abundantly clear to Manchester United fans. Mourinho and Pogba won't both be at the club next summer. And there is a genuine chance that neither of them will be. But I want you to answer me one question. If you had to choose between Man United keeping Paul Pogba or Man United keeping Jose Mourinho at the club past this summer, who would you get your back in? Now, before you do answer that question, I want you to watch this video. I'm going to present a few points for and against keeping Paul Pogba and keeping Jose Mourinho. And I want you to let me know in the comments exactly what you think. Now, when it comes to keeping Paul Pogba, the first point is abundantly obvious. He's the best player in this Manchester United squad. That's without question. And if he does leave, then who the hell are Manchester United going to get to replace Paul Pogba? You know, you're going to really struggle to find and buy a central midfielder that is better than Paul Pogba. So the concept of letting him go makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. And the second point about keeping Paul Pogba, United should be building our team around him. Pogba has the capability to become a truly world-class midfielder. And you can't say that about many players in this squad. Maybe David De Gea, he already is a world-class player, but there's not many who have the actual true capability of becoming world-class. Paul Pogba does. You know, he's done it with France at the World Cup. He's done it with Juventus previously. He was stunning there at Juventus. United should be building their team around Pogba going forward. And just the concept of letting him go at a time when United don't really have many top draw players in this squad, it's a step backward. It would be a step backward for Man United to let Pogba go. And when you think about Paul Pogba, his peak years are ahead of him as a player. You know, he's already smashed it with Juventus. He's already smashed it with France at the World Cup, a World Cup winner. He has the capability to become even better, and he's already a top draw, one of the best central midfielders in the world. So why the hell would Manchester United let him go? Now, unfortunately, I think Paul Pogba has been a complete dick in how he's gone about his way at the start of this third year in Mourinho's tenure at Manchester United. You know, Paul Pogba and Mourinho, their, their problems have been abundantly obvious for some time now. But Mourinho extended Pogba an olive branch at the start of the season. He gave him the captain's armband. And since then, Paul Pogba has acted, for me, like a bit of a spoilt brat that isn't getting his own way. After the first game of the season against Leicester, he said he can't say what he wanted to at risk of being fined. He was awful in the second and third games. After the seventh game against Wolves, he came out and basically publicly questioned Mourinho's tactics as a manager. He's taken a very public stance in dividing fans between Mourinho and Pogba. And for me, that's the wrong way to go about it. And I absolutely disagree with how Pogba has acted. I think, as I said, I think he's been a bit of a dick. Now, a major concern for me that if United do keep Paul Pogba past this summer, it's effectively the club has decided to stand behind Pogba and have given in to player power. And player power at Manchester United has always been something that's been quelled and squashed. Fergie did it. You know, Rooney aside, that was one of Fergie's pillars that he centralised all his power on was the fact that players did not have the power. No player was bigger than Manchester United. And I think that if Pogba does stay past this summer, it does set a dangerous precedent that United have backed the player power for future players, for future problems. I think if Paul Pogba does stay, not that he won't come back to bite Manchester United in the arse, but it sets a dangerous precedent in terms of player power at the club. And a final point against keeping Paul Pogba is, you know, you look at Pogba this season, he's been given the armband by Mourinho, he's been publicly praised by Mourinho at the start of the season. And Mourinho has brought Fred in, another central midfielder, he brought Matic in, there's a defensive midfielder, he's built a 4-3-3 around Paul Pogba to get the most out of Paul Pogba. And Pogba still seems a little bit unhappy. It almost feels like Pogba will permanently exist at United or whatever club he exists at, with an air of uncertainty. During the World Cup in the summer, he didn't do anything to quash rumours that he might have been angling for a move for Barcelona. He's happy for those rumours to go on. And with Mino Raiola in his corner, I'm not sure a problem with Pogba is ever, ever going to be far away. So there are the points arguing for and against keeping Paul Pogba at Manchester United past this summer. And these are the points for Jose Mourinho. First point about keeping Mourinho is the concept that your fans are just Fucking sick and tired of the upheaval that we've seen since Fergie went. 
We're sick of it, we're sick of the changes, we're sick of the permanent transition, the manager coming in, getting rid of half the squad, bringing in a new squad, not working, two years, repeat, seven months after Moyes, repeat. It's just been a complete mess since Fergie went and we always knew it was going to be difficult. Nobody really expected it to be this difficult, but the grass isn't necessarily greener on the other side. And if Mourinho does leave, who is to say that that really is going to solve the problems at this football club? Now, if Mourinho was to leave, who are the alternatives? You've got Zinedine Zidane, yeah, triple Champions League winner, did a brilliant job at Real Madrid. But he had Bale, he had Ronaldo, he had Modric, he had Ramos. It's been his only job in management so far. And you can't say that it wouldn't be a risk to bring him into the club. I think that's abundantly obvious. You look at Diego Simeone, another alternative. Brilliant manager at Atletico Madrid, but if Man United fans have got a problem with how Jose Mourinho's style of play is, what the hell are they going to think about Diego Simeone's style of play? And then you've got Pochettino. Done a brilliant job at Spurs in terms of the squad that he has built, but he's never won a trophy in his entire career. And Man United is a club that's built on silverware and winning trophies. Again, that's a risk. Then you've got Antonio Conte, for example. You know, Premier League proven. He's won the Premier League with Chelsea. He's won back-to-back -back titles with Juventus. He's got a proven track record of turning a Premier League's fortunes around. But he's got problems with man management, the same style that Jose Mourinho does. You know, fell out with Luiz, sold Matic. Question marks would certainly exist over Conte, and there would be question marks over any manager. There wouldn't be a manager that could replace Mourinho and come in and solve all the problems straight away. Don't be naive in thinking that is the case. And the major reason for keeping Mourinho is the fact that, again, don't be naive about the problems at United. United's problems don't stop with the manager. The Glazers are at the top of the tree. They've taken over a billion out of this football club since they bought it. Bringing in a new manager doesn't necessarily mean that Manchester United are all of a sudden going to return to the glory years of Sir Alex Ferguson. We've seen upheaval in Moyes, we've seen upheaval in Louis van Gaal, and we've seen some stability in Jose Mourinho in the first couple of years. We've certainly won the Europa League, the League Cup, FA Cup final as well. Yes, it hasn't all been smooth sailing, but with the Glazers at the club, it's a toxic environment for Mourinho right now, and it will be a toxic environment for any manager that follows him, with Ed Woodward, the money man in control of footballing matters. United as a club is run poorly in comparison to so many other elite level football clubs. And getting rid of a manager is not gonna get rid of all those problems. But if there are reasons for keeping Mourinho, there are also fair reasons against keeping him past this summer. Now the first thing that people are gonna to point to is Mourinho's style of play. It is pragmatic, it isn't free flowing, it is based on defense. And for a lot of United fans, this is a point they will never ever be able to get over. Mourinho is far removed from the ideals of attacking football that Fergie laid down at his club and his success over decades at Manchester United. So many fans have been brought up on a diet of success and attacking football. Then Mourinho's come in and it's jarred United fans. So much so that they just simply cannot ever back Mourinho as United manager. And of course, if there are problems with Mourinho's style of play, his style of management, arguably, there's going to be people who have even more problems with that. He's abrasive, you know, he rarely admits when it's his own fault, he blames other people, when it's probably himself who is the problem a lot of the time, and it causes friction. Look at Anthony Martial, look at Paul Pogba, look at Luke Shaw, that's come good now, but Shaw, over an extended period of time, people were questioning what he was doing there. So many people have disagreed with his style of management, and now into his third year, we're seeing similarities as to the problems that have emerged in Mourinho's third year at different clubs. Fans of other teams and critics expected Mourinho to implode in his third season, and so far, there's nothing to say that they're not correct. And a third reason for a lot of people as to why Man United shouldn't be keeping Mourinho past this summer might be the fact that Mourinho's glory days could be behind him. You know, he was unbelievable at Porto to win the treble there. He went on to break up Fergie's dominance in the Premier League by bringing Chelsea up to where they are still now. And you look at what he did at Inter Milan, he won the treble with Inter Milan, he went to Real Madrid and broke the dominance of Pep Guardiola's Barcelona. But now some people feel that football's moved on and that Jose Mourinho hasn't moved on with it. And for that reason, a lot of people want to see a fresh face coming in, someone like Zidane, someone like Pochettino, who's looking at football differently. 
because they feel that Mourinho and his success is behind him. Now, there are some points both for and against keeping Mourinho and Pogba past this summer. But I want to know from you what you think in the comments below. If Man United were going to keep one of Pogba and Mourinho, which one would you choose? Or would you want both Pogba and Mourinho to leave the club this summer? Now, let me know in the comments below. There's obviously going to be a big debate about this one. Uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's watched the content this week. Um, it's not been an easy week for United and United fans with Pogba and Mourinho. It's been messy, but it's been fantastic comments, fantastic engagement. So thank you all for your comments below. And make sure you leave your comment on this one, because for me, this is the biggest question and the biggest debate. If only one stays past this summer, who is it? Pogba or Mourinho?